So in yesterday's episode, I talked about using a task manager and how you should um, utilize a task manager and get rid of your post-it notes to actually help you. In this episode, I'm actually going to show you my task manager, so stay tuned. Hi, my name is Kay, I'm a tech minimalist, and I help organize my clients' technology so they can free up their time. Um, Before we start, if you're listening to this on the podcast, it might sound a bit weird. So in the show notes, you'll find a link to this actual video. Um, I'll try to explain things as much as I can, rather than just show them so you can actually um, understand a little bit more as to what I'm showing, if that makes any sense. Okay, so this is my task manager. Now, I used to use Things. Now, Things is a fantastic task manager. However, I don't need all of the features on there. Now, Things 3, I I used Things from version 1 or even pre-version 1, and it was a fantastic app. However, there were some um, features that it was actually missing. So I was searching, constantly searching for a new app for myself. Now, Things 3 have done a ma- did, a, did a massive update, uh, I think it was last year, and they were con- constantly updating it with a few um, extra features. However, the reason I moved over was the simplicity of this app and how it works, how Mac-like it is, how clean and sparse it is. And the, the, then I just actually realized that there were a lot of features in Todoist that I simply wasn't using and I didn't need. There were so many, um, yeah, features that I just wasn't using. And this is the thing, a lot of people, sorry, that's my dog walking down the stairs. <laughs> okay. There was, uh, there was a lot of features that I thought I needed, and this is the issue. A lot of people think that they need specific uh, features on an app, where in fact they actually don't. So I went to things, I moved all my stuff over uh, in the past week or so, a couple of weeks, three weeks, yeah, something like that. And, and I couldn't be happier. It syncs, obviously, with your phone and everything. It's not cross-platform, so it is Mac only. But then again, I'm a Mac junkie. Most of my clients are Macs, and that's where my, what my niche is. So I don't need something that is on all platforms. It's not on the web, it's not on anything, but it is on your phone, your iPad, and on your Mac. Anyway, that being said, let's dive in, and I'll show you exactly what's going on. So. With uh, this is the view that I use all the time. I uh, I work from the today view. I make sure I um, add dates to all my tasks, so I don't need to delve into the sidebar, which is which is this um, at all, because I don't. I don't. This this already makes me <laughs> gives me a headache because I don't need to see it. This is exactly what I need to see. But let's talk about the sidebar. Um, very basically, we have an inbox, so every time I have uh, any ideas when I'm walking down the street, I just put it into the inbox and then I organize it afterwards. Uh, I'm not going to go through what these are. These are kind of self-explanatory. Today is what I work from. Upcoming is uh, what's upcoming in seven days. I think it goes on to the whole year or whatever. Anytime tasks that aren't dated, uh, uh, sorry, any time I think... Yeah, they're, they're not dated, and Sunday is, no, Sunday is not dated, and any time isn't dated as well. Yeah, they're not dated as well. I don't know what the difference is between that. I don't use any time. I use Sunday, so I don't actually get it. Logbook is stuff that you've actually done in the past, and obviously the trash. Uh, very basics. I'm going to probably make uh, an in-depth video about this, uh, about each of these sections. I just wanted to show you explain, sorry, what they were. Now, just like my filing and my calendar, I have three areas, work, business, personal. So in my work is literally my client work or my all the stuff that I have to do for my clients, not my coaching clients. My coaching clients, I actually use Basecamp, so I'm not going to go there, but basically any 
thing that I need to do for my clients and um, my prospects as well. I don't use a CRM. I think this is actually better for me than a CRM. Business is anything that I'm doing for my business and personal is obviously personal. And that's it. So every time I, I make a, um, um, a task, I put it into a specific area or project and I date it. I don't generally use tags or anything. I use um, kind of an overview tag. So if you notice uh, in my today view, I have this all button and business, personal, and work. Now these aren't areas, these are actually tags. So in my area, in my work area, I've just put a tag to uh, explain to me what it is when I'm in my today view. So if I click my work tag, I'm, I literally only see what I need to do for my clients, for my client work. And again, same with my personal and same with my business. And I can press all to see everything. That's basically it. I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, I can also see my calendar items for, for today in this view. So I, I can click onto them and actually go to the appointment in my calendar. Um, so this basically gives me an overview of what I need to do at any one time. I don't need to go all over the place to try to figure out what I need to do. I obviously have a calendar. And as I said, I use Basecamp to do specific uh, things for my projects, like long-term projects. But short-term projects uh, for my clients and myself and for my business, I basically put into here. Here's my dog walking up the stairs again. Hey, Wolf, are you going to relax? <laughs> okay. So um, again, I just wanted to show you how I organize um, my to-do list manager, which uh, is now Things 3 and has been for a few weeks. And I really, really like it because it's so, um, how can I explain, um, gesture friendly, especially when you're working on your phone where you're kind of swiping everything. And in Todoist, I wasn't able to do that. Um, there are certain things you could do, but I found that I was clicking too many buttons, too many pages, too many areas to do what I actually needed to do. Um, I, on the Mac, I couldn't properly get rid of the sidebar. As I said, I only work in the today view. So it was kind of, um, a lot of the features in there were kind of pointless to me. However, saying that, I don't dismiss using Todoist for some clients. I don't dismiss using any other tool that I don't use for my clients because I work with my clients. I have to get rid of those stairs, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to um, find out how my clients <clears throat> work and then figure out the right tool for them. But a task manager of any kind is the best thing you can do for your life and for your business and obviously for your work because it will help you organize everything. And as you've seen with my task manager, it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be over the top. There are features in, in, uh, in, in things that I just haven't shown you. And if you're interested, I'll do a more in-depth video about, uh, about it. So you can keep it as simple as possible. I mean, this whole channel and, and what I do and, and Mac Junkie as a whole, my life as a whole, is about simplifying everything, is about, I hate the word laziness. I don't wanna use that, but I, I wanna be as lazy as I need to be to make sure I get everything done for my clients. Anyway, I'll leave it there for now. As I said, if you're a podcast listener, please go to the show notes uh, for a link to this video so you can actually see uh, what, I'm t what I've been talking about. Um, if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, go and subscribe. It's macjunkie.com forward slash subscribe. Um, I send out an email every Sunday with special offers and stuff. <clears throat> as well as like an overview of what I spoke about this week, just in case you missed any of the videos. So yeah, keep it simple. 
and I will see you on Monday. So have a great weekend. See you then. Ciao. Bye-bye.